Hey everyone, and welcome to Tuesday Tips with Dr. Laura. My name is Laura Christine, and I am thrilled and honored to be a part of Delinda Lane's fun, fearless female global community of Christian women. Today, I'd like to talk about the title, Embrace the Place. I love that title. I actually gleaned that from a Bible study I was doing this morning. And the author was talking about how sometimes we feel out of place, like we don't fit in. We don't fit in the place, he said. It's because we confuse the concept of place with having a position. Now, this can apply to anything in life, but I'd like to apply it today to our work life. Whether you work for somebody or you own your own business, it can apply to the business world. Now, a position in the business world, you're the CEO, you're a marketing rep, you're a designer. It also means we can have status, rank, attitude, belief. Those are positions. How many times have we spent time, energy, resources preparing to go to a position that we think we want? And then you get there and it doesn't fit. We get to that position to discover it was all for naught. It didn't fulfill us. We didn't use our talents or our gifts. Now, in this instance, embracing the place, the concept of place is not a location, but the situation you are in or the role that you play. So how do you embrace a place as opposed to the mindset of position? You know, how do you keep that confusion, uh, you know, that it goes away, that we are not confused? I've got three words. And I could stop there, but of course, I'm going to add a little more to that. Three words. How do we embrace the place that we are in? Trust in God. We have to remember that God's in charge. I mean, that's, that's basically, we have to remember that he's in charge. He is preparing a place for us on earth right now. Of course, he is preparing us for heaven, but he's also preparing us here on earth for exactly where we're at now and what is in the future. He knows where we will be most fulfilled and functioning at maximum capacity because he knows what we need. He knows us probably better than we know ourselves. If you are frustrated, here's a concept or a thought, maybe we're not fulfilled in the, and we're thinking position rather than place. We've spent all of this time and energy and resources and we're just not designed for where this position is. And we're not looking at it as this is a place that God has placed us in. Do we truly believe God has, or God is good and has our best interest in mind and he's preparing a place for us? God made, made us, knows us, knows our talents, wants to flourish us, wants us to be fulfilled. He knows what experiences it will take to get where we're at right now and what we will use for the future. So all that being said, because I said at the beginning of my question, three words, do we trust him? Do we trust him where we are at right now? Do we trust him with our future on this earth? Do we trust him after we leave this earth? If we trust him with everything, all we need to do is to step into a place, not a position of where we are at and trust. All we need to do is take one step at a time with him in the current position, or I'm sorry, in the current place we are in. All we need to do is to trust him now and in the future. All we need to do is embrace the place we are in. I am so looking forward to chit-chatting with you next Tuesday with Tuesday Tips with Dr. Laura. Until then, have a fantastic week, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.